Chapter 6, Section 2, Voting Rights, Women, Age, and the Senate. Women. When the 15th Amendment was adopted in 1870, it applied only to black men. Like white women, black women would remain legally disenfranchised for 50 more years. Led by notable activists such as Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretia Mott, Lucy Stone, and Susan B. Anthony, the women's suffrage movement emerged during the second half of the 19th century. The movement advocated greater educational and job opportunities for women. By empowering women, the suffragists were able to gradually overcome their opposition. In 1890, Wyoming became the first U.S. state in which women were able to vote, and by 1918, women had acquired the right to vote in all 15 states. Finally, in 1920, the United States adopted the 19th Amendment, guaranteeing all women the right to vote. Other Expansions Following the expansion of suffrage for African Americans and women, the next major wave of voting rights came in 1971, when the voting age was lowered from 21 to 18. The movement that advocated for this change was born during the Vietnam War era. Youth-led anti-war activists argued that those who risked their lives in war ought to have a voice in governing the country they were defending. Politicians who supported the Vietnam War also supported lowering the voting age to 18 so that soldiers under 21 years old could vote. In 1971, a proposal to lower the voting age from 21 to 18 was adopted by both houses of Congress and sent to the states for ratification. Three months later, the states ratified the 26th Amendment, making it the fastest amendment ever to be ratified. Voter eligibility is currently open to any U.S. citizen who is at least 18 years old on Election Day, and not disqualified due to felony convictions. Some states add additional criteria that trigger disqualification, such as being declared mentally incompetent by a court. Another major change in U.S. voting processes occurred in the early 20th century. Prior to 1913, U.S. Senators were not directly elected by American citizens. Instead, Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution required that each state legislature choose the state's two senators. By the early 20th century, most Americans had concluded that this method of selection was undemocratic and corrupt. In 1912, an amendment was proposed in Congress to end this practice and require that senators be directly elected by the citizens of each state. After passing Congress, the amendment was then ratified by two-thirds of the states in 1913, becoming the 17th Amendment to the Constitution.